Hi folks, welcome back to In Case You Missed It, Sheldon Spackman, Josh Hall, Troy Gillard with you for a look at some of this week's biggest local news stories from Red Deer in Central Alberta. Sheldon, thousands of municipal leaders in Red Deer this week for the AUMA conference where they heard Thursday from Premier Rachel Notley. Yes, she delivered a keynote address to the delegates in attendance. Uh, she spoke of the Trans Mountain Pipeline project, of course, uh, telling uh, the audience that her government is going to keep the federal government accountable for this. They're not going to tolerate any missed deadlines or legal game playing. They want to see construction on the project start uh, as soon as possible, of course. She also uh, brought up an MSI, Municipal Sustainability Initiative, and she wants to, uh, her government is actually working on developing a revenue sharing replacement plan with municipalities, for municipalities. She also spoke of uh, cannabis funding that's going to be forthcoming for municipalities to help them with the costs of the uh, October 17th uh, deadline that's coming up here. And uh, she also addressed the, uh, acknowledged I should say, the strong advocacy throughout central Alberta for uh, cardiac catheterization lab at the Red Deer Regional Hospital. Uh, she says the, de uh, the government is working on a very detailed report regarding that matter and she expects the first draft of that report to be done this fall. So she says essentially her government is moving on to Troy. Yeah, well, we all, certainly all hope so because uh, on that note, it was this week that uh, a Rocky Mountain House area family went public with uh, their story. It was earlier this year, back in March, that uh, Grant Hay suffered a heart attack at, on his way home to his his home near Rocky Mountain House. And uh, unfortunately, Red Deer didn't have a, a cardiac catheterization lab for him to be taken to. They tried to get him to Calgary in time, but unfortunately, he passed away uh, on route. So now uh, the Hay family is using their story to perhaps spur some action when it comes to bringing that much needed cardiac cath lab to Red Deer Regional Hospital. We've got that full story at rdnewsnow.com. Josh, today, Friday, uh, Red Deer Public and Catholic schools holding events to recognize Orange Shirt Day. Yes, schools all across the country, in fact. In case you don't know the story of Orange Shirt Day, uh, Williams Lake BC woman, Phyllis Webstad, uh, she was in a residential school years ago and she had a new orange shirt and they took it away from her, so that's what inspired Orange Shirt Day, which began in 2013, and now the schools all recognize it, all in the name of reconciliation and building bridges between all cultures, uh, non-Indigenous and Indigenous peoples. So our full story is up at uh, rdnewsnow.com. Uh, some activities going on at both West Park Middle and St. Teresa of Avila school today. Rebels, busy stretch starting tonight. They are at home taking on Calgary tomorrow night. So we have Currents in town, then Sunday they're in Calgary, and then Tuesday night they're back home again to Saskatoon. So four games in five days for the Rebels. RD News Now will be all over that. Guys, thanks for this. As always, have a great weekend. Thank you folks as well for joining us here on In Case You Missed It. For these stories and much more, visit rdnewsnow.com.